very good morning guys once again welcome to carry counseling online and hopefully all of you are doing absolutely great at your home safe uh, well today is Thursday so just a reminder tomorrow we have a wonderful open session through the zoom virtual room around about 7 p.m. and uh, you can visit this event in our Facebook page and um, reserve your seat and join in we have a couple of very interesting guests who are joining in tomorrow and we will have a very interactive session okay so how does the mental health impact uh, the kind of work the kind of uh, work pressure that we have in and uh, a better friend it's like how can you take care of your health uh, physical health so that your mental health is in in place and it enables you to take in all the kind of workload and the kind of present trauma that we are going through so taking care of your mental health through taking care of your physical health and thus being optimal in your deliverables so with that uh, please uh, visit the page and you can uh, reserve your seat there now uh, amid this all pandemic amid this all chaos uh, we hear a lot about uh, the incidents which is going in the uh, job market Right, that reminds me of one thing. See, uh, the ancient scriptures have always mentioned to remember your fallen army. Okay, so the soldiers or the army who has fought with you towards a goal, towards a winning. Um, those days it used to be winning of a kingdom, winning of new territories and so on. But the thing is, but the thing is, Today, if we use the same technique or the same philosophy in terms of the corporate management, what does that signify? What does that mean in our corporate life? <clears throat> See, we have seen uh, even during our uh, freedom fight movement of India that all the prisoners, there were many prisoners uh, who were held by the British in the Andaman and Nicobar Island the army or the members of the INA uh, many of the members were held prisoners um, you know uh, in in the uh, cellular jail now what happened was the uh, once the freedom was won by the Indian uh, uh, army okay so the first thing that was done was the prisoners of the war uh, were released okay uh, the prisoners of the war were released and the uh, members of the INA or uh, the other revolutionists who were held captive in the cellular jail were released. Now that is what exactly the government has to do. That is what the government needs to do to its heroes who have fallen, who have worked, who have fought the war for them. Now what does that mean or signify in terms of the corporate world? It has a significance in the corporate world also. If we draw uh, a reference from this in our present day scenario, I would recommend that don't forget your employees. Don't forget who has stood beside you for creating this empire uh, in, uh, in terms of business, right? The, the huge hundred billion dollar company, a thousand billion dollar company is not only made by uh, you know the technology is not only made by uh, you know a couple of process in place it's not made by a couple of expensive machineries in place what has happened was you know there were employees there were people who contributed who were part of the process who utilized the resources who utilized the machinery and they produced an output which created a market for your customer right when the customer bought those product or services it was then it was then that you earned revenue so with the maximization of revenue right with the maximization of revenue you were able to acquire new territory you were able to acquire new machinery you were able to acquire new resources right so whatever you have today whatever the organization has today is a cumulative result of the effort of the past employees and the present employees so what is it uh, when it when it comes to uh, in terms of corporate world uh, see 
today we are living in a very dynamic time, right? Dynamic uh, time wherein things are changing very fast. But still, I would say the employers, uh, employers need to focus on three points. Um, first, I would say that know each and every team member and the team heads, okay, in the corporate world. See, the thing is, whenever you are receiving, see, whenever you are receiving uh, a feedback, whenever you are receiving a good reference or whenever you are getting new customers, you need to understand it is because of those employees and their leaders who have been guiding them towards the common goal of the organization. So, uh, as an employer, you need to know each uh, member and their um, group and their leaders so as to build that trust of connection wherein these employees feel included. They feel recognized. Now, the thing is, see, yesterday I also have mentioned the employers not always looks for rewards and recognition in terms of monetary aspect. They, they literally look towards uh, you know, a recognition that yes, my contribution mattered. Yes, that I have put an effort and the organization you know, uh, credits that. Yes, that I have tried my best and the organization understands that and includes me in the victory. So as a corporate world, as an employer, you need to remember uh, you know, the group the group members and the group leaders okay so once that happens the ones that cycle of recognition continues what will happen is it starts from the top it starts from the management it goes to the let's say the directors from the directors it goes to the uh, you know uh, managers from the managers it goes boils down to the team leaders from the team leaders it goes down to the team members to the team members right i mean the team members also you know in in a highly motivated in a highly motivated uh, organization you will see you will see that uh, the organizational uh, skills or the vision or the mission is shared by everyone you know even the team member will show high respect or high uh, you know level of confidence and also leadership skills See, leadership skill does not mean that it has to be only done by people who are sitting in the glass cubicles or the glass rooms or huge chambers or the director cabins. The leadership is a philosophy which is carried on, on throughout the organization. And that can only happen when the management starts recognizing each and every team member, the group, the team leaders, and whosoever has contributed. Right? So a recognition of... Uh, you know, knowing, even even knowing the members, knowing the group, knowing the leaders, they feel, yes, you know, they know me by my name. You wouldn't believe that makes such a difference in an employee's life when, you know, uh, I remember one day uh, when I was in HP, uh, we used to have uh, uh, an ops head by the name of Koshi Khand, okay? So, uh, I knew that... Um, uh, I, I was I was the only Bengali uh, person on the floor, and uh, I knew Kaushik understood Bengali very well. But uh, uh, he was an ops head, and he, he was uh, you know only approachable. Uh, I thought that I mean it was not like that. HP has a very open door policy; anybody can walk down to anybody. The thing is, see, I always found uh, he having meeting with the uh, managers and uh, you know heads and others. So I just being a team leader, I never had any uh, purpose or I never had any um, a chance to go up to him and talk. Now the thing is, uh, it so happened that it was uh, in the month of September and I, I was planning to come uh, to uh, visit my parents for the Durga Puja, okay, in the month of October. So I was uh, planning for the leave, I was writing it to the uh, manager and so on. Now the thing is so happened, it was during a coffee break that I, I, I was having this coffee and I was sitting in the lounge and I was going through the, uh, you know, uh, a newspaper at that time. And I, I suddenly, uh, you know, I heard a voice like in Bengali asking like, so are you going for the Durga Puja this time? And I, I, I just literally look around and, uh, uh, you know, and I found Koshi standing there and I immediately stood up and he said, come on, relax, sit down, sit down. And he, uh, you know, uh, sat next to me with a cup of coffee and he was very polite and he asked me, so uh, what's the plan for Durga Puja? When, uh, when are the Saptami, Ashtami, Nabami and Dasami this, uh, this year? 
and uh, when are you planning to go so you need to you know uh, it's difficult it gets pretty difficult to get uh, on the book book the tickets from bangalore back to um, you know uh, kolkata because at that time a lot of bengali students a lot of bengali professionals are traveling uh, back to their natives so you need to uh, you know uh, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, uh, Miss. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. It's wonderful having you. Thank you, Oruna, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yes, as I was saying, so Kaushik stood next to me and asked, like, so are you going for the Durga Puja? Uh, I, and I said, yes, sir, I'm absolutely going. But I'm just, um, uh, I just hope my leave gets uh, sanctioned. So he was very, very uh, cool, and he said, like, uh, see, Sanjay, the moment he, the moment he said my name. that was like you know a huge recognition it, it was not an appreciation it was not a uh, a kind of meeting or a kind of reward or recognition but the thing is the moment he he, he uttered my name because guys we need to understand we are psychologically uh, connected beings you know and the the best thing or the you know uh, the main thing that uh, is attached or the most uh, dear thing that is attached to uh, any human being is their name because that that is the name which immediately resonates in their mind their identity their recognition and their being so the thing is the moment koshit uttered my name like sanjay so uh, you need to get the tickets uh, fast right and he left i mean and i sat there completely dazzled and i couldn't believe that he knows me by name because i was not reporting to him i was uh, not even reporting to uh, you know the manager uh, whom he managed i was reporting to a different operation altogether but the thing is uh, uh, operation head remembering me by my name that was a, a huge recognition so um, employers many a time i've seen you know uh, they forget this that you know when the employees are recognized by their name also you know that matters so much in their life that makes a difference in their life and they feel so very happy so uh, when you are an employee uh, you know quoting the quoting the example from the ancient scriptures see uh, uh, in the ancient scriptures chanakya mentioned uh, that uh, when the strength of the king arises the, when the king becomes powerful it is his first responsibility to set uh, uh, free the prisoners okay the prisoners of his own army and also recognize the soldiers who fought for him right so the thing is that is that is something which also happens in our indian army also we will find you know uh, it's uh, you know it's sad uh, uh, you know uh, that we have to lose the life of our armies and the soldiers but the thing is indian army has been one such branch one such institution which recognizes its soldiers the best in the world the kind of recognition that a soldier gets you know uh, be it after death or you know uh, for his service for his lifetime service for his uh, participation in a particular war or in a strategy it's very very encouraging so employers drawing a con uh, you know drawing a reference from the indian army or you know the past uh, or what chanakya said in the corporate world in the corporate world the employers needs to needs to i i literally put a stress on that needs to know the members the groups who has stood by the organization creating the history or the empire of that organization right then uh, second point i would say as we always uh, uh, always see um uh, you know it reminds me of spider man movie wherein it was said that with greater power comes greater responsibility is absolutely it is true it is absolutely true when you are a leader when you are a leader and you are in a decision making uh, position you have to understand that the first responsibility of you is towards your employees so many a times see uh, even in the history we have seen that many a times after the war uh that was won through a lot of losses a lot of lives and lot of uh you know killing others um so we absolutely abolish uh, we absolutely are against any kind of war i mean uh, war is the evil uh, evil evil part of the society and it's not constructive the thing is but still in the ancient history uh we used to have wars right even even uh, these days also we do have wars uh, between countries but the thing is see once a war is being won by the king he cannot like in the ancient history also he cannot go back 
into the life of leisure and you know merry making and partying around and having it because what it happens is when that happens see the hard earned victory the hard earned victory becomes very very insignificant see a victory which is won over the loss of life of your army or your member or your uh, you know group cannot be cannot be a reason for you to merry make so uh, what does that mean in terms of the corporate world or the business world today what happens is so many a times when a big hurdle is being overcome by the corporate worlds or a big business uh, is acquired by the uh, corporate world many a times it goes into a mode of comfort zone so when that starts happen you need to understand your competitors are not in the comfort zone they are constantly trying to overthrow you they are constantly trying to come up with new products they are constantly trying to be you as i mentioned yesterday it's very easy to go on the top going on the top is not difficult but staying there is very difficult so the responsibility of the employers is also once you have won uh, you know the new business or new market whatever see you need to spend time with all of those members team members team leaders managers whosoever has contributed towards this success you never know as an employer what an employee sacrifices yes he gets the salary but the thing is the kind of sacrifices that an employee has to do in terms of you know uh, curdling down the family uh, life in terms of uh, the personal life you know these days the professionals you will find emailing all around whenever they are in the move even back home they are you know going through their mobile sending mails talking over the clients now the thing is this is literally detaching the employee from the family life so the as a employer once you have a success in business you need to remember this sacrifices that your employees did you need to understand that it took their sacrifice for you and your organization to be here so the thing is once a new business is acquired once a new market is acquired once the business reaps profit earns profit it is the first responsibility of the employers to share the credit the revenue the profit you know a certain portion of it with the employees who worked hard on it okay spending some time with them and spending a time with their families because i will again draw a conclusion from my past organization see in hp we used to have a wonderful open policy like whenever uh, see i was i was i was from kolkata and when my parents visited uh, hp you wouldn't believe the hr literally uh, had a discussion with me they had a schedule you wouldn't believe they had a schedule for 5 days where in the first day you know my parents would be you know picked up from uh, uh, where i was staying in a wonderful car in a very very good car uh, not that it matters i mean but it's it really matters to a parent when they see their children working with such an organization which respects their parents you need to understand that that's the kind of psyche which goes in now see my parents were uh, you know picked up in a wonderful car and they were given a great tour the moment they arrived on the uh, entrance uh, you know their photos were taken their ids were made and uh, they were given the tags and uh, they were uh, given a uh, security personnel to you know accompany they were given a battery operated cart uh, you know uh, to move around within the campus uh, umbrellas were there water uh, bottles were there and the, my parents felt like they were the people who were you know the employees and uh, they were constantly uh, being asked like if there is anything else that they would require there were towels in the car and they were explaining the hr uh, person and the security person was explaining the uh, map of the campus we were operating from surya park at that time uh, the digital park we used to know it by that time and my parents i you wouldn't believe the kind of happiness the kind of pride that they uh, you know showed in their eyes like my father uh, was always working with the defense and, he, and his office also uh, building was also a magnificent one in kolkata being made by the british it's a huge uh, uh, office uh, right on the banks of the ganges and uh, a, a historical uh, a building in which he used to work but then when he saw everything he simply looked at me and uh, i still remember his eyes were you know uh, literally moist and he said i literally literally feel so happy 
seeing you in this campus this is how the employees should be respected this is how the employees should be treated you see the small step which hp took towards taking care showing respect about my parents makes me talk about hp even after 14 years i have left hp in the year 2006 2005 end and this is 2020 15 years has gone by but i still talk about hp with that kind of pride with that kind of honor with that kind of loyalty that's a wonderful organization to work with like any other uh, big organizations which take care of the family so as an employee as i was mentioning you need to remember that the job uh, that you have in hand you know the victory comes with the responsibility you have the power so you have the responsibility to share it with your employees to take care of them to take care of their family when that is done you have employees who are ready to go with you into any war um, in, in modern days into any kind of business operation into any kind of strategic move that you are going to take they are with you so that is it so the third point i would say is uh, you know you should have stories to tell as i always mention see uh, for us for this generation it's not you know a hundred thousand years ago that we uh, acquired the independence from the british but why do you find uh, you know this connectivity towards uh, i wouldn't say the indians lack uh, patriotism i wouldn't say that but the thing is this generation of us is taking the freedom for granted you know why you know why because the way our parents my father my father my mother they saw you know uh, their father or their mother sharing the stories about the freedom fight about the struggle about the partition of bengal you know my parents saw the partition and the way the way they carried on this stories you know they felt proud about so the thing is the connectivity with your country will begin with the stories of the martyrs with the stories of the fallen soldiers you know the more we read about master the surya sen the more we read about subhas chandra bose the more we read about the revolutionist okay kaji nazrul islam and everybody who contributed in the freedom we understand that how much they suffered how much they sacrificed how much they contributed like for instance subhas chandra bose being born and brought up in such a well to do family educated family uh, a family with a law background he uh, you know passed in uh, all these examinations and he could have had a wonderful luxurious life you know like any other people but the thing is he chose a different path this is a story which we need to learn we need to understand and we need to pass on to our children also so what does it mean in terms of the corporate business see when an organization is expanding when an organization is successful it should you know share the stories of the success and the struggle of the people who have taken this organization till here see why is steve jobs still remembered praised and almost like worshiped even i being one of the worshiper even after his death from uh, from the cancer is because he was a legend he created an organization it was not only that he created products it was not only that apple created macbook pros iphone and ipods it created legends because it had a legendary you know leader steve jobs used to constantly tell stories about his struggle the way he was even thrown out of his own organization the way he went through the trauma he told he sp spoke about it very very confidently in the interviews in the books that he has written in 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 any kind of blogs that he has written what that means is being human right the story is being told we can correlate to stories only human beings learned things we need to understand if we go by the history if we go by the prehistoric time also you know the cavemen used to understand or communicate through the stories which they drew on the walls of their caves that's how we even now know about their life right we knew about them their life their culture their way of hunting and everything through the paintings and the stories that they told through the paintings so as an organization you need to tell the stories of your employees the kind of struggle that they went through the kind of you know uh, effort that they, they put 
otherwise what will happen is people start taking everything for granted we had the freedom served in a silver tray that's the reason we are not being able to take care of the way you know people used to feel connected about india i know a lot of people will feel offended about it but the, that is the truth how can you go out and break a law how can you go out spit around how can you go around and be corrupt how can you support corruption how can you you know elect all kind of you know uh, different uh, administrative personnel with a background of corruption it's because we have forgotten the history it's because we have forgotten the stories of our great martyrs of our great leaders if we would have literally read about subhash chandra bose the way he sacrificed the way he led the way he motivated we could have never been what we are today yes it is a shame on us that we have taken the indian freedom for granted we have taken it there is no no disagreeing to it the way our parents or my grandfather understood about or felt connected about the indian uh, constitution or the indian uh, soil or the indian flag the indian anthem indian freedom honestly speaking i don't feel that way it's because we have forgotten the stories the stories we have not been reading the stories of our great martyrs of our great leaders right so the thing is when an organization coming back to the corporate world when an organization is successful through a troubled time like let's say this time pandemic covid 19 going on the recession hitting you know the job cuts happening still big organizations and various companies will go through will go through now when it goes through this when it comes out on the surface successful okay it needs to document all the effort of the team members all the sacrifices that the team members did and it needs to pass on that story to its the then employees what will happen is the employers would understand that they are with an organization which recognizes which recognized the past heroes which recognizes the present heroes or the present contributors and when they go ahead extra mile and contribute towards creating a new horizon for their organization they would also be remembered in the stories and everybody wants to be immortal let me tell you in the dna of human being it is there that is the reason you know we have children we have a tendency to live beyond our death that is why we are you know trying to trying to go ahead with the time through our own image how is that when my story is remembered it matters when i remember you know my uh, previous uh, managers my previous bosses the way i do with respect see though they know about it or though they are aware of it is a different aspect but every time i remember the past organizations the past managers but the past leaders they are successful so on that note today i leave you guys with uh, this thought like is it possible to create an employee or is it possible that the employees create themselves so with that note today guys do take care have a wonderful weekend ahead and um, uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow tomorrow we have a wonderful meeting through the zoom virtual uh, room meeting and uh, we will be talking about uh, mental health and physical health and how can we go through this trauma and uh, take care of our job so with that note today guys uh, uh, please please do uh, you know like our facebook page which is career counseling online and uh, uh, like uh, the or subscribe the channel of of youtube which is in the same name our career counseling online uh, youtube channel is live and you can go ahead and like it you will have wonderful videos uh, you know to watch around to be motivated to share and to talk about and also uh, if you have something troubling you bothering or you want to talk about something you can write to me at career counseling online at gmail.com with that note today stay safe stay home and stay focused as always i mentioned learn contribute and evolve with that note today take care guys bye bye